well having fun experimenting in the sand this morning uh, very 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 nearly got the tow baser stuck on the beach and little did I know it exactly the same time Greg was mucking about in the sand and he's now he's now stuck so I'm gonna have to pull him out with the tow baser Boy, are the Land Cruiser guys going to hate this when they see this. Oh, I'm going to be public enemy number one, and Greg is going to be public enemy number two. But we're going to be great friends with the Land, Cru Land Rover fans. They'll love it. It'll be on YouTube. It'll go viral. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Namibia with my good friend Greg van der Rees. It's the last day of our 10-day expedition, discovering the secrets and wonders of southern Namibia. I'm near Luderitz and wrapping up my stay with my conclusions on the vehicle that has brought me here, the Chevy Trailblazer. 2014 Chevrolet Trailblazer is a, well it's really exactly what it says on the box. It's a medium-sized SUV four-wheel drive with real off-road ability because it has clearance and it has low-range gearing and everything you really need to, uh, to go traveling with your family. I have now been enjoying this vehicle for 10 days. Uh, Namibia, this is my final stop. And during the trip, I, every now and again, something has occurred to me, something, the things that I have liked about this vehicle. So I've turned on the camera and I've just expressed my opinion right there and right then. I remember when I first tested in 2005 with my family in Utah. It's a better car than it used to be. Typical American style four wheel drive, smooth as silk automatic gearbox, smooth easy steering, no effort required at all. I'm trying to find something I don't like about it and I haven't found anything yet. We're now on the first part of our trail. We're in central western Utah. We're on a, a, a pony trek trail. This is where the ponies actually used to run carrying the mail. Very pretty countryside. Savannah grassland surrounded by the Wasatch Mountains. Whether we're going to be able to do it in this reasonably long wheelbase vehicle without getting ourselves caught, I do not know, but we'll try. Getting caught, getting caught already and it isn't even a difficult slope. There's nothing so far about this vehicle that I don't like. I'm determined to find something. Time to test its dirt road capabilities. Not that I haven't done it before, but now it needs a little bit of speed on these twisty corners. It has shift on the fly, which I'm pleased to say is instantaneous. Well, instantaneous. It takes about three seconds. No matter if I'm going in a straight line or around a corner, it will engage four-wheel drive when I tell it, and it will disengage it when I tell it. well-mannered on corrugations when it hits the corrugations it doesn't there's no um, flicking of the tail it's well-mannered I can't fault it on gravel road handling not at all but but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about some of the other things that I, I, I like about the vehicle and so many of these things are actually quite trivial but actually they're not that trivial I mean, for example, every vehicle you buy now, nowadays pings. It pings and warns you, oh no, uh, you've opened the door and the key is still in the ignition. But this one, it, 
goes for about 10 seconds and then stops. So if you are in the parking lot and you do want to sit on the driver's seat with the key there so you don't have to find somewhere else to put it and the doors open, it's reminding you, but it's not a nagging fishwife. Small things like that. The four-wheel drive system, for example, on this vehicle, it just works. It's simple. It's... I didn't need a book, a manual, to figure out how it works. Boot space is generous. Now, this is still all my stuff from my trip, but it's got a reasonable amount of space. There are no funny designer pieces of plastic to get in the way and annoy me. It's, it's, it's smartly designed. There are power points in the back here. In the, there are, I think, four in the vehicle power points. That's smart. To me, somebody actually, when they designed this vehicle, they actually used their brains and thought, what are people going to use it for? Let's try and make their experience better. And not that many cars are like that these days. To be honest with you, I have not looked at the spec sheet on the clearance of this vehicle, and I'm not going to. Because the, that, that figure is so misleading because it tells only part of the story. Honestly, the best way of looking if a vehicle has reasonable clearance is to look at it. That is the best single way of getting an idea if the clearance is going to be good enough for some fun off-road uh, playing around, and this is adequate. So, what vehicle is it the most similar to? Uh, probably Toyota Fortuna. Similar price. Similar size, although this is a little bit bigger inside than a Fortuna. The ride, it's as good as a Fortuna. Interior noise, comfort, it's as good as a Fortuna. Maybe a bit better. Its ride on corrugations and gravel roads is better than a Fortuna. The four-wheel drive selection system is excellent. I cannot fault it. It's fast and it doesn't argue with me, and it tells me if I am not in the right gear selection for the change in transmission, it will actually let me know by a little sign um, in front of the steering wheel. Now for those things that I don't like about the vehicle. The truth is that Rarely do I take a vehicle out and give it a good thorough test, which, which is what I've done now, and I, I don't have anything I don't like about this car. I have not found a single thing with this vehicle that I don't like. And I think that's a first for me. And I have to compare this to, say, Fortuna. I like the Fortuna very much. In fact, I rave about how good that vehicle is. Is this as good as a Fortuna? Would I buy it? Uh, the prices are similar. Would I? You know, honestly, it's a difficult choice. Resale value, the Toyota is going to be better. But then again, that's Toyota. They have an extremely good resale value. In terms of pure performance, there's nothing in it. I haven't tested this off-road to the degree that I tested the Fortuna, that is true, and the Fortuna for, uh, for a, as a standard SUV is exceptionally good off-road. The clearance of the two vehicles is similar. This is bigger inside. I don't like the interior of this car aesthetically quite as much as the Fortuna. There's nothing in it. I tell you, there's nothing in it, and nothing has surprised me more than that. Is I'm not a I'm not big on I've never been a big Chevrolet brand man, and I suppose in a way I am toy I'm pretty pro pro Toyota. It's a good car. This is a really, really good car.